Well, the good news is the tickets have arrived here in the UK. UK fight fans will be able to get their hands on them pretty quickly. They're all packaged up, ready to go, and they're all set for delivery as well. Now, if you're delivering over $2 million worth of tickets, you need something that's secure, reliable, roadworthy. This is what's taking them out. To be fair, though, you're not going to mess with the delivery driver. It's Ricky the Hitman Hatton himself, resplendent in a Del Boy type uh, sheepskin coat. Ricky, to be fair, if someone was going to tell me uh, they got their fight tickets out the back of a yellow three-wheeler of someone like yourself, uh, be a bit wary about them. Yeah, well, don't worry. They'll be going in first class. Uh, New York, Paris, Manchester, Vegas. They're on the they're on the way, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. The tickets are going. They're just flying out again, and uh, makes you feel so proud. You talk about difficult times in terms of money for people at the moment, but the fans are staying loyal, are they? For loyal, I mean, I probably sound a little bit like a broken record about you know my fans. I mean, without doubt, the pound for pound best fans in the world. I mean, 35,000 went over to Vegas for me to fight Mayweather. Didn't quite win that fight, but then 58,000 come to the city of Manchester Stadium. And I think now about, about 14, 15,000 have been sold in a matter of weeks already. And with Christmas coming up, and obviously with this recession coming on with the credit cards and the banks and everything, it's just, I think, sensational. Sensational will be an understatement. For yourself, going back to Las Vegas, psychologically, will there be a problem there after Mayweather? I wouldn't have thought so. I think the toughest fight is your first one back from a knockout defeat. And uh, I've got that one out of the way. I think I'll be a better fighter for it. But can't prepare myself. I'm going back to the scene of the crime, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. I can't prepare for, me, for what demons might go in my mind come fight night. But uh, like I say, I think the hardest one's out of the way. And uh, I think it shows what Ricky Atten's all about in, in going back to Vegas, the scene of my me, me only defeat. And... Uh, not only that, you know, I'm fighting another world champion, you know, uh, the number, the next rival in my division. I don't think you can ask for more than that. Is there a sense, though, of almost having a point to prove, despite the fact that you've won so much at, at this level? Yeah, a lot of points to prove. I keep hearing that, you know, everyone thinks my training camp's not going well. We've, I'm saying that I've parted with my me, with me old trainer, which is obviously sad, and I've parted with my new trish list and a new team's coming, and everyone thinks the build-up's a little bit higgledy piggledy type, uh, type thing, but it's certainly not the truth. I mean, uh, I'm feeling fantastic. I think you can see in the the size of me for a change. I'm uh, right on form, right on my weight, feeling fit already and uh, enjoying my training at the minute. What is happening with the training as well? Because Floyd Mayweather, senior, is over here next week, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's got a world title fight uh, with Stevie Forbes, world welterweight title fight, and then he's coming over next week. He's been in cahoots with uh, with my trainer over here, Lee Beard, over the phone with what he wants from me. And Lee and uh, Floyd have been working with each other you know, and for maybe the last four or five years, really. So they're on the same wavelength, and uh, along with what I've already learned from my, my former trainer, Billy Graham, they're going to show me a few little moves, a few different training methods, which is obviously, I think, going to make a better fight for me. Has Floyd Senior said anything about his son, and whether his son is perhaps looking at coming out of retirement and fighting you again? No, I, I obviously, you know, just uh, you know, especially with me being very strong to my family, the way I am. You know, I always asked, I asked him the question. I was Floyd. He said, "I've not seen him for four years." He said. Uh, He's forgot the people who got him there in the first place. And I could see it was a very hurtful thing for him to, to speak about. He's not spoken to him for four years. And I thought, well, he, you know, they both must have the reasons. I'll just leave it, leave him to it. Crying shame, but, you know, such is life. For yourself, though, is Paulie Malinaji a stepping stone to perhaps getting Floyd out of retirement or, or something else? Well, a lot of people have said that. I take it as a huge compliment that a world champion, my nearest rival in the light welterweight division, is seen as a bit of a stepping stone. I think that shows the standards Ricky Atten set for himself. But uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, the best pound, you know, De La Hoya and uh, Manny Pacquiao fight a few weeks after me for the best pound for pound fighter in the world title. My aim is to uh, is to fight the winner of that. And I said I wouldn't move up to welterweight again because <laughs> I'm not quite big enough. But what sort of a champion or a fighter would I be if the best pound for pound fighter in the world is a get once again? just seven pound up for me and I didn't give it a go you know so uh, but you know first things first Mr Malinaji first he's very quick you know got to catch up to him and I think I will but uh, I'm in the mix for all the mega fights again. You've set such like high standards as you said Ricky but is Floyd Senior going to bring you on to another level are we going to see an even more improved Ricky Hatton? I think he'll improve me I mean uh, he's, it was very reassuring to say he's not going to change my style which is fantastic I don't think you can do that but a lot of people have said you know what can Ricky Hatton learn at this stage in his career I think I've been known for, for years for having the worst defence in boxing Floyd Mayweather is the best defensive coach in boxing you know so I'd have said it I'd have thought it was obvious what he can what he can add to my game really and I've always been a better fighter when I've slowed the pace down a little bit and used my, my little bit more boxing ability. And in working with someone like Floyd Mayweather, who might bring that out of me, 
should make me a better fighter, really. Just finally then, Ricky, obviously it's still a while off yet, but you've got plenty of training camp to go through, but what can we expect again over in Las Vegas when you take on Malinaji? Well, value for money, you know, never a dull moment. And along with, uh, you know, the exciting style on the front foot, pushing my opponent back, body punches, just everything that you know, the fans love about Ricky Atten. But uh, with a style probably just tweets a little, with a little bit more finesse, a little bit, you know, a bit more jabbing, a bit more, you know, just a little bit more boxing ability. And I've always, people have been saying for years, I'm better when I slow it down. And uh, I think that's what they'll see. But uh, value for money, excitement all the way again. All the best, Ricky. We'll let you get on I with your it. deliveries. Over $2 more. million dollars worth of uh, tickets to be given out. Uh, Ricky's also got training to get to as well. That fight on November the 22nd, and uh, it's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Ricky Hatton, the hitman, the champion, against Paulie Malinaji. But first, as I said, he's going to deliver that $2 million worth of tickets in uh, perhaps not the most secure of vehicles, and uh, certainly one with a dodgy reputation. And not the easiest to get away at either, off the starting line, but Ricky is on his way. <laughs> uh, as I said, $2 million worth of tickets, and not the most secure way to travel. Oh, for a horrible moment, I thought it wasn't going to start there. Double to clutch, double to clutch. Anyway, <laughs> we shall see. And you can see, the only place that you'll see Ricky Hatton take on Paulo Malinaggi to see if the world is his lobster is Sky Box Office. The fight is on November the 22nd.